Welcome back to the Precious Metals Summit in Zurich. I'm here with Rob McDonald from Southern Silver Exploration. Thank you for joining me. Thank you very much, Peter. It's a pleasure to uh, to speak to you and your audience. Yeah, thank you. It's been several years really since we've reconnected, so uh, this a lot has happened in that time frame. Please give us an update to your of your main silver project in Mexico. Uh, it's grown in size. It's it's very large. Uh, 350 million silver equivalent yes. ounces. So let's let's get a little bit of a history how you got there and what's coming next. Okay, perfect. Uh, thank you. Um, yes, it's uh, uh, we're, we're talking about our flagship project, uh, the Cerro Las Benitas uh, Skarn system. It's a silver lead zinc uh, mineralizing system located in southeast Durango in uh, in Mexico. Um, it's very well located. We're we're on the edge of the Alto Plano, uh, and so we're not in the mountains there. And so as I like to joke we're out in the middle of the bean fields, not the marijuana fields. We're out of the way of the narcos. It's a very safe and effective jurisdiction to be working in. And we've had this project for over a decade and been working away on it through the highs and lows of the of the markets. We're currently in one of the lows, obviously. Um, and we've been able to grow the resource. I think our, our maiden resource was 110 million silver equivalent ounces. It then went up to 250. And, uh, and now uh, we're, we're up to 350 million silver equivalent ounces. And so it keeps on growing bigger. We think there's more size potential. But in the meantime, we're now looking at some of the economics and the engineering aspects as well. Oh. Fantastic. So, how do those? How does that look like? How does the uh, economics? How they look initially now? And, and I know that you're updating the PA. So, what are you looking to do to improve the economics and, and yeah. give some insight into that, please? Well, well, this is a, a uh, it's a big project. Uh, it's uh, you know uh, th uh, 33 and a half million tons, and so you're looking at big volumes and big processing and 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 all of that. And and so you know when you do these PEAs, you have to remember the first word is preliminary. So we've done the PEA and then uh, you know added some more resources uh, you know nominally but uh, they're, they're going to be important where they would where they would fit into the mine plan and uh, you know we've upgraded some of the metallurgy and then we've now looked at the PEA and we say okay well we can we can tighten things up here and we can make things a little bit better here and 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 there uh, and so that's the process that we've been doing for the last uh, you know six nine months and uh, we're looking at early in 2024, so January, February of 2024, having an updated uh, uh, PEA that will bring all of these changes together and make uh, make it better. Uh, it was a pretty good, uh, you know, pretty good results initially. Uh, we had a uh, 341 NPV at a 5% discount at our base case numbers, which were $22 silver and $1.33 zinc, so still still pretty comparable to, uh, to, to, to present day prices. Uh, the internal rate of return was 18%, uh, and, the, and, the, and the initial capital was $340 uh, million. So there's a few things in there. We'd like to see a higher internal rate of return on this next go, and we'd like to see a better ratio between uh, your, uh, your NPV and your capital, and these are the things that we've been focused on, and uh, I think we'll get there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that we'll get there. At this point, are you done with exploration drilling on, on this project, or just focused on the economics and improving them, or you, you just mentioned that you had done some prior drilling that you're going to be adding to this, so yeah. what are you doing on that side? Is well, there is definitely exploration potential on the project. Um, we have uh, we have mineralization in the west and mineralization on the east. On the west, mineralization extends for over a kilometer below surface. On the east, we've only drilled it down to about 450 meters, and there's no reason. It was just we stopped drilling because we were looking at uh, getting shallow mineralization that would uh, that would affect the economics better. There's no reason where min why mineralization can't extend deeper. We think that there's a potential here to grow this resource from the 33.5 up closer to a 40 million ton deposit. This might be more attractive for some of the uh, the, the larger uh, base metal and precious metal miners that have smelters and smelter contracts. Uh, and so this is sort of the avenue that we're focused on is uh, is fix up the economics and then as the market allows 
go in and expand resources and continue building on that. Right. So there, there is still opportunities and, and upside to that side. Uh, there are other projects in the company, yes. I believe in southern Arizona, that we could talk and give yeah. some insight about what, what those are about. We have two earlier stage projects, they're Oro and Hermanus. Uh, they're located in, in southern New Mexico, right next to the, uh, in Grant County, right next to the, uh, uh, the, the Mexico border. Um, Oro is a large laramide porphyry system. Uh, we've identified uh, a zone pattern over a three kilometer radius that has uh, a, a, a copper moly porphyry target that then transitions out uh, to uh, high grade uh, silver lead zinc replacements, which then transitions out into a shallow gold target. We've done drilling on the shallow gold target as well as uh, some, uh, some of the deeper drilling of, at the porphyry target. We believe we're at the very top of the system. So that's sort of good news, bad news. It means that mineralization is not eroded away, but then the bad news is you still have to drill maybe some deeper holes. Uh, so we finished some drilling in, uh, in uh, 2022, in uh, the fall of 2022. Uh, we've identified some additional targets, added uh, 62 claims in, into one area where we think that we have uh, some excellent potential uh, to, uh, to, to uh, get some ore grade mineralization, develop bona fide targets, and we're, we are now in the process of permitting some of those holes and then seeing what the market gives us in 2024 to be able to go back. In Hermanus, um, this was a project that we uh, optioned from um, uh, Perry Durning and Bud Hillmeyer. And uh, for any of your, your viewers out there uh, that, that know those names, they are two of the premier project generators that, uh, that operated in Mexico over the last 30 years. They identified San Sebastian, San Augustine, Pitaria, Camino Rojo, Los Gatos. So they probably have about a billion ounces of, uh, of silver and over 10 million ounces of gold to their credit in terms of grassroots discoveries. Now, they didn't drill them out and build them, but grass, uh, grass, identified, uh, identification of the grassroots discoveries. They're the ones that option the project to us. It's a large epithermal vein system. Gold and silver is the target here. And so that's what we're going to focus on. And the entire idea is to look at um, uh, Cerro Las Manitas, look at Oro, and look at Hermanas as being a balanced portfolio with exposure to both precious and base metals with high-grade mineralization, uh, potentially in each of those targets, as well as potentially you know, battery metals and, uh, and, and also, you know, of course, gold. Fantastic. And what are the valuations of the company right now? How is the market valuing? Uh, unfortunately, it's a, it's a poor market these days, and uh, I think like everybody, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're maybe not doing as well as what we as what we were, you know, six months ago or eight months ago. Uh, at this point, uh, we're we're valued at about a fifty million dollar market cap. Okay. And uh, you know, I, I, I'm sure as, as you've probably heard from everybody in this uh, in this room, that uh, we believe it's undervalued, and I think a fantastic opportunity as we start uh, getting out of the tax loss selling and this this lull this current lull in the market well on a per share silver silver exposure basis that's you, 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 you get quite a bit of exposure so yeah, if the silver bad. price were to really take off yes this is uh, you're quite leveraged to the upside um, you have some really strong shareholders as well you have some uh, strong institutional support uh, is it the electrum fund that owns it the electrum fund owns 25 percent and that's uh, Tom Kaplan's uh, private equity Equity Group out of, uh, out of out of New York. Uh, they were once partners uh, in the in in the project, but then they uh, started focusing more on uh, on some other projects, including the the Los Gatos, which is now a mine. Uh, they they were looking at funding that, and then another project uh, down in uh, Guanajuato. Uh, and so we were given the opportunity to uh, to purchase their interest in the project. We did that in 2021, and then that was the basis for drilling out those eastern deposits that I was talking about and then building them uh, into the new resources and then the PEA. Um, they are great shareholders. Uh, Peter Cheeseboro is on our board of directors. He's the uh, uh, the president of exploration for Electrum uh, and uh, they're very supportive of, of how we're moving and what we're doing and how we're moving the project forward. That's key. That's very yeah. good to hear. 
Well, we're really looking forward to what's going to come up in the year ahead, the updated PEA, yep. potential our drilling and your other projects in New Mexico. And uh, hopefully with a silver price, uh, these horrible valuations we're seeing across <laughs> the entire sector will change and we'll start to see some respect return to the sector. Well, hopefully, hopefully. And thank you very much, Peter, for your, uh, for your time and for your audience this time. I appreciate it. Yes. I look forward to catching up soon.